okay, well, you know, people were worried too about our height difference. I don't think we should let that affect us today because this is a skills competition and we'll just keep it strictly based on skills, okay? Sure. Okay, you ready? Round one. Let's do it. And cut. Hey. Good work, big man. Great job, buddy. Uh, crossbar. That is. <sighs> We're doing that, aren't we? <laughs> Fine, you know what? Crossbar right here. Something was felt a little different than that first opening part. This is gonna feel really good to do this, Tito. Oh. oh my goodness, Michael Boxel. Ay, ay, ay. And it went Set in the goal, the too. High. By the way, video review would have said that was a goal, too. Definitely Crossbar not. and a goal. Oh my goodness. You also play for the national team that happens to be on the other side of the world. Yeah, You've got a handful of caps, but whenever you make these trips to go with the national team, it's not like it's a two-hour flight. What, what's the longest flight you've ever had? The longest travel is when we're coming back from the Solomon Islands. I think it took me close to, it was like 47 or 48 hours. 47 or 48? Yeah. What do you do? What do you watch? Like, what do you read? I don't think there's, I think you just try to keep yourself sane, but there's not enough entertainment in the world to, to keep yourself sane on a flight for that long. Hey, joke's on you for being <laughs> tall. How uncomfortable was that for you? I, my feet would have been dangling from the seats. I'd have been fine for 48 hours, so. Because I'm yet to hear someone describe me as a finesse player or someone with a deaf touch. We're gonna do hitters from the penalty spot, hit the crossbar, and I'm gonna need you to throw it in from above the goal line over there, please. And you know what, because Callum's never said that about you, I'm gonna make sure to say that on the broadcast today. I'd appreciate that. Here we go. Show him this tape. <laughs> Header off the crossbar. Boxy. Oh, he's done it. Just like that. And because it came back to me off the crossbar, we use the same ball. That's so, that's <laughs> just, that's intimidating. Not because you're 6'4". <laughs> hey, Ready? by the way, this is sacrifice. This hair I'm sacrificing for you. I don't know how much product you use, but there's one strand out of place there. You take that back. You don't mean <laughs> that. Those are mean words, Michael. There we go. Words hurt. Oh. You used to play rugby when you grew up, right? Yeah, I was actually, I gave it away because I was a little too small for it. You were too small? Yeah. <laughs> I would have gotten cut in kindergarten. Uh, so the All, Bla all Blacks is mm -hmm. just like the, the national team. It's, it's known around the world. And the coolest thing I think about it is mm -hmm. the pre-match thing when they do the haka. I'm not doing that. You're not we're doing not the haka? Doing today. You won't but do the haka for it us. Is, it is something cool that every kind of kid in New Zealand grows up watching it and learns it. Like, what's your favorite part of the haka? I don't know, probably the ending when you're trying to put on your most intimidating face. It's called the pukana. Okay, so can you, you teach me a pukana? You gotta have scary eyes and then they, okay. when they poke their tongue out, you would have seen that. Okay. So it's like... Okay, <laughs> you ready? I'm gonna give my best pukana. At the camera. Here's a free lesson for you. <laughs> I'm gonna be honest with you, I did not plan to go left footed there. <laughs> Nor did it look so I don't have to go left footed. You can do whichever foot you want because right. the, the plan changed midair <laughs> after my first touch. Okay. All right. Pull back, flick over, oh, net in the air. To, I need to visualize first because. Do what you got to do. Oh, Here no. it is, the moment. Oh, ah! no. So I heard it'd been a while since, you, since you've had a win, so. I think, time. That's I think, why you got me on the I show. I think you definitely <laughs> went on banter. I've maybe won the battle, but you've definitely won the war. Thank you so much for joining us. We no, really appreciate it. Thank you so much for watching. Call your shot.